You're now tuned in to Behind the Afro Mic. Behind the Afro Mic talks to people from all walks of life. Behind the Afro Mic is brought to you by 105.3 Afro FM, your infotainment station. Kwame Nkrumah and Haile Selassie. This were the two leaders that dared to dare the dream. The dream of unifying Africa as a single nation. But years after they have passed away, the dream has not been yet realized. Nonetheless, the dream is still being pursued by many. Why is the dream eluding us? Is it a dream war is achieving? What can Africans benefit from integration in this harsh economic times? With these questions in my mind, I went to the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa for an answer. Joseph Atta Mensa, who have championed the regional integration issue as a director for years, has weighed on the issue. Hoping that you'd enjoy the exciting discussion. I'm your host and producer, Samson Tasfai. Okay, Mr. Joseph Atamensa, welcome to Behind the Afro Mic. Thank you very much, Samson. Thanks for having me. It's always been a, a pleasure listening to the Afro uh, 105.fm. Um, I really enjoy Mm-hmm. the programs that you have um, and I thank you for having me okay thank you very much I want to accept the compliment on behalf of my colleagues at Afro FM too so now as we are talking about right now on June the 3rd there is a big conference going on with the theme of towards a continental free trade area and customs union in Africa what's the meeting all about for those of us who have not attended the meeting well it's a great question. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a very important meeting in the sense that, um, mm-hmm. as you know, um, regional integration um, is the raison d'etre for African Union. Mm-hmm. It is our commitment that we would like to come together where we would all have be able to move freely, where we would be able to trade amongst ourselves, and all the barriers that we have in terms of trade will be removed. Mm-hmm. This is a dream. This is the dream of our forefathers. This is the dream that was started in 1963 here in Addis Ababa on the 25th of May by our leaders. As you know very well, Africa is fragmented into 53 countries. Our economies, when in, uh, individually or independently, are very small. What we hope to achieve through regional integration is to pull our economies together mm-hmm. so that we become one vibrant economy, be able to trade and be taken seriously in the global marketplace. And as a result of that, if we are able to succeed in doing that, we will be able to address the challenges of poverty, the socioeconomic challenges of mm-hmm. uh, malnutrition, the social economic problem of uh, conflicts, the problem of uh, the HIV pandem- pand- uh, pandemic. So collectively, when we come together, we will be able to improve our lots. We'll be able to improve our social economic development. Imagine you have all these countries as one. You have all these economies pulling together as one. You mm-hmm. have Ethiopia being able to specialize in coffee Mm -hmm. right and you can find Ethiopian coffee anywhere in Africa okay 
This is the dream. This is the dream. You put it in a very compelling manner. You said this was the dream of our fathers. If this is a dream of our fathers, then why did it took so long for the integration to be from, realized? I think maybe I, I it's not, it's not a yes, integration is not something mm -hmm. where it's easy. Okay? Mm -hmm. It is even in Europe that we see EU. The whole process started in 1958 with five countries along mm -hmm. the lines of coal and that is how it developed. So it takes a while. Some of us are impatient, myself included, and these are my own objective that I wish that I, I could go to sleep and when I wake up tomorrow we have this dream realized where mm -hmm. I can move freely as a Guinean. If I choose to stay in Ethiopia forever, I would have no problem, nobody asked me any question. I would have one common mm -hmm. African passport or something, you have your own passport, mm -hmm. one African passport, your passport would not be different from my passport. And we can all, you can decide where you want to live. Mm -hmm. This is what some of us want. But I think we also have to face realities that you're pulling sovereign states together. Mm -hmm. You have to do it in a way that it does not, it does not cause confusion. Okay. You have to do it in a way that it doesn't displace people. But mm -hmm. we've made some progress. I, th I think we have to look at that. And my argument always, I say that, yes, 1963 is when the dream was realized. But you cannot remove the fact that in 1963, a number of our countries were under foreign domination. We had colonized countries. So therefore, the objective of the OAU then was on the liberation struggle okay. to rid the continent of foreign domination. And that happened when? In 1994, when South Africa was liberated, was from, liberated apartheid. from apartheid. And then you have to look at that, you know, that's when we transform ourselves from the African Union, from the Organization of African Unity, to the African Union Commission, or African Union. And this mm -hmm. only happened when? 2002. Mm -hmm. So you have to put it that we only have nine years when we really started to have this development. Mm -hmm. We will get there. And I think people like you, the youth, can make it happen. There's tre tre you have tremendous amount of power in your hands to <laughs> let it. Because when I talk to youth, they don't see themselves as Ethiopians or Guineans or Burkinabis or Zimbabweans. Mm -hmm. They all want to come under the one umbrella they, of I Africa. I see them as Africans. Mm -hmm. They talk an African language. They want to be African. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the ambition, and it's a great ambition. But I think, realistically, in the near sense, the, the thing that we can be achieved is economic unity, isn't it? I think so. I, I, I think that, uh, that you know, um, although, like I said earlier, if we can have political integration and have one Africa tomorrow, I'll mm -hmm. be dancing on the streets. But on a practical note, you mm -hmm. have sovereign countries. And uh, sovereignty is something which is not easy to part with. So I think we can do the easier one, easier, not easiest, but easier one compared to political, is that if we concentrate on the economic integration, mm -hmm. whereby um, we can pull economies together. And let me remind you, though, that in, uh, in a, a few weeks, I mean in a few days, you are going to have the, we're going to have the Tripartite Summit in uh, Pretoria, or mm -hmm. sorry, in South Africa, maybe okay. Pretoria or Joel Beck. What's I'm that not, tripartite? I am coming to explain. Mm -hmm. And the tripartite summit, with, which involves the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, which is mm -hmm. known as COMESA, okay. the Southern Africa Development Community, which is known as SADC, mm -hmm. the East African Community, which is known as e mm -hmm. EAC, have come together and have agreed that they are going to form a, a, an FTA to have a common free trade area or what is known as the Grand FTA. And there are 26 countries involved, including Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. There are 26 countries involved, including Ethiopia. And what they seek to do, if it's realized, is to have that area, the 26, country, mm -hmm. the 26 countries, the zone the, among the three, goods would move freely. Mm -hmm. within that community. Okay. So if that can happen, if we can realize that, mm -hmm. so you have 26 countries coming together, 53 minus uh, 26 is what, 27? Uh, yeah. So you are left with 27 countries. If they can also come together, 
through another form of an arrangement, we are getting there. Mm -hmm. So I am, I am praying hard that this grand FTA succeed. But having said that, we can also have a grand continental FTA if the leadership really wants. And what we can do as ECA, and that's the reason for this conference, is that if we can, through our technical expertise, design mm -hmm. a framework in which we can have this continental FTA, it will be a great thing. Mm -hmm. And it's coming from, not that we want to do it, but in Kigali last year, the African trade ministers asked that we fast track mm -hmm. the continental FTA. And so we have to work on that to get it done. Mm -hmm. We also are going to do this through a work we are doing, which we have a report, which we publish jointly with African Development Bank and the African Union Commission, which is called the Assessing Regional Integration in Africa. Mm -hmm. The last one we focused on intra-African trade. Mm -hmm. The fifth report, which we are going to be working on, would focus on designing or looking at a framework for a common market for Africa. And that would include looking at what will be the framework that should be used if we have uh, a continental FTA. What would be the framework that we could use if we want a continental customs union? What is the blueprint that we need to have if we have to have a common market for Africa? Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is what the report is going to focus on. Mm -hmm.